all education is about overcoming fear. Whether it's a kid taking a first step and wondering, can I, do I dare put this foot out there? To somebody deciding to sign up for organic chemistry, there is this anxiety. You're kind of putting yourself out there. Children aren't starved for that kind of experience in our, in our modern urban world. Many of them attested to how this was one of the most meaningful experiences in their life and really changed them in a very fundamental way. Everybody knew TAP because all of a sudden you got this feeling of what it is to be a part of the earth. You know, that you're not different from it, it's just what you do. Oh, don't get my pipe. <laughs> so here's this wonderful person who affected so many people in so many positive ways and none of this happened in a classroom. He gave people the opportunity to explore themselves. The whole thing's actually edible on these. He was such a gentle and competent person. I mean, he, anything he did, he did, you know, with, with eloquence. Emerson had his wonderful statement. He said that history is the length and shadow of man. And outward bound to an extent is uh, the length and shadow of Tapley. Okay, you're all right, Liz. Now just get your feet up on a knot, that's it. Okay, relax. Relax because your safe is in your mother's arms, okay. Trust, it was knowing this guy knows what he's doing and I'll, whatever he says for us to do, we'll do. If you're scared, well be scared, but go ahead and do it. And you, then you're always amazed at, well wow, I actually did something that I didn't know that I could do before. Learning that they can cope with adversity and master challenge in a world where most kids live in extreme states of dependency and they have very little opportunity to build that sense of uh, independence and self-esteem. Ranger Tim Hayden takes a group of five-year-olds out for a hike in the Santa Monica Mountains. He's often surprised by how much the kids don't know about nature. How long has this tree been here, do you think? 14 hours. The, the prevailing paradigm of urbanization in our culture has been one of fundamentally transforming, degrading, and suppressing nature. That's before the role models are just not there the way they used to be, uh, or as much. Um, and, uh, and then, obviously, uh, you know, the vicarious experience of reality, uh, if you want to call it that, um, you know, the experience of reality secondhand through some sort of representational form, some media, uh, most particularly visual media, but also books, but is a much larger part of children's lives than the direct experience. And it adds up to a, uh, you know, kind of a, a profound kind of sea change in the way in which children today experience the world compared to just a gener you know, a, a very short while ago uh, a profound change in, you know, in a blink of the eye in human evolution just, and it seems to be going more and more in that direction. Tap is an American unlike most modern Americans. You don't learn wisdom, you don't learn, learn common sense, you don't learn what the outdoors means, you don't learn any of these wonderful things that we learned just growing up. So do you really love Tap? Yeah, and that because he represents his generation, and there will never be another one like him again.